Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Grace Tori and I am back with a whole new podcast episode. Today we're going to be talking about how to level up your morning routine. So you may already have a morning routine or you may not have one at all and you're just looking for the best way to start one. And these are all of my tips for getting that perfect fall morning routine, a it girl morning routine if you will, that's going to make you productive and just ready for the season. I know we're a little bit into fall already, but I still wanted to do this because I feel like you can always improve your morning routine and it's just like such a cozy time. Like you guys know that fall is my favorite season. So what better time to just like improve your morning routine than right now? I really don't have anything else I don't think other than the fact that it's like 80 degrees outside and I'm pretty annoyed about it because it's October and it's usually like 60 right now. Um, so that's not cool, but other than that, there's nothing else going on. So I guess we'll just go ahead and jump on in really quickly. I forgot before we do, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, all those things. It helps my engagement. Leave a rating and review. If you subscribe, don't forget to comment hashtag gal with goals because we are on the road to 1k and I want you to be able to join and be a part of the girl gang, recognize you, see you, comment back to you guys as we make our way up to 1k YouTube subscribers if you're on YouTube. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. I'm Grace Story and you're listening to That Girl the Podcast. Grab a beverage of choice and settle in because the new episode is starting now. We're going to be talking about, like I mentioned, how to level up your fall morning routine. And some of these are like a walkthrough of like all the things I do. And then some of this is like just general tips. So I think I'm going to do the general tips first and then I'll walk through kind of like my morning routine. In an ideal world, I by no means do this every single day, but this is kind of like the vibes. So general things. I try to not use my phone until I leave the house, unless I'm like working at home a little bit, obviously. If I'm doing things at home before I leave, then I like to try and not be on my phone until I start like my to-do list or my work part of things. But when I'm getting ready, I'm cooking, I'm taking the dogs out, all the things that I'm gonna talk to you about, I like to kind of keep that as like a sacred like me time because I feel like the way that you set yourself up to have a good day is to allow yourself that me time to kind of meditate on the day and like make sure it's going to be a good one. So yeah, I try to be as calm as possible and take my time in the mornings and kind of be in like this meditative like state of like chilling and I don't want to be on my phone. I know like it's going to just raise my cortisol and stress me out. I don't want to see the notifications. So I try not to get on it until I have left the house and I'm wherever I need to be aside from like turning on my music in the car. But yeah, that's, that's my first tip that I think is pretty high up there on priorities. A good morning routine starts with the night before. So as I stated, I would like for my morning routine and I feel like a general thing that the girlies do is try and make sure that our morning routines are as seamless and planned out as possible. So some things that you can plan the night before is if you're going to be wearing any like face masks overnight or like wearing like heatless curls or anything like that, obviously do that the night before. If you can, I, my hair sticks like really well, like if I curl it, it's staying curled for the remainder of the time until I wash it. So I'm very blessed in that way. But so I'll curl my hair the night before. Like I, I don't curl my hair enough to use heatless curls. I just use a hair curler since it's kind of rare. So I will do that the night before. That way I can just do touch ups in the morning if I need to, like if it gets a little messy in my sleep. So that's another thing that I like to do the night before. Meal prep, your breakfast, lunch, all the, what you're gonna be eating in the morning. Obviously meal prepping for the whole day is great, but if you're like me, you're not a big fan of heating food up. That's just not my vibe. But I don't mind really like breakfast. Like if you do overnight oats, that's fine. Some like egg stuff is fine. Even if you just kind of know what you're gonna make and have like a menu so that you can go and do it and you have to take the guesswork out of it, setting that up the night before is great. Have a general outline of the day that's obviously going to change because life happens, but just having one so that you have an idea of what your day is going to consist of the night before, that helps me to get up and know exactly what I'm doing and where I need to be. Lay out your outfit the night before or multiple outfits, say you're going to the gym, whatever. Lay out all your outfits, know what you're going to be wearing, even if you just get like your first outfit figured out, like your gym outfit and then the rest, like you kind of enjoy like taking your time and getting dressed for the day, so maybe you don't do the second one. Try and 
cater this to like you and what you enjoy. Like I don't particularly enjoy picking out my outfit. It's not like a meditative thing that I do. I get really stressed about it. So I try and do it the night before, but I know people do enjoy it. So yeah, have a clean space to wake up and do. So make sure that your bathroom counter is clean. Make sure that your room is clean, all of that so that you don't have the stress of waking up i don't know when i wake up in a dirty space i get really stressed out like make sure your kitchen's clean you can just like walk into your kitchen like snow white so simple everything's where it needs to be you don't have to see the clutter just make sure that you're in a clean space that might not be a night before thing that might be like a keeping up with it all the time thing but make sure that your space is clean when you go to bed have your purse or bag ready. So if you're going to the gym, have your ba gym bag ready. If you're going to work, have your work bag ready. Make sure that you have that set up so that you are good to go and you aren't running around looking for your journal or your planner or whatever you may need the morning of because that's just going to add a lot of stress. It's just way easier to just grab your bag, you keep it in the same place every day and you're ready to go. One thing I like to do, not just in the mornings, but throughout the day is to say positive affirmations. So some of my favorite have been, I am I have financial freedom, I am beautiful, I am confident, I know my self-worth. I don't know if you can tell, but I've been struggling with a little bit of self-worth lately. So I'm really working on building that up and everything that you do kind of builds from your self-concept. So you need to make sure you have a strong self-concept. So that's what I've been working on as well as like finance and stability because in this world we all need a little bit financial help so those are the ones I've been focusing on you can do one you can do ten just as I'm doing things that are like kind of robotic like washing the dishes or putting on my makeup or brushing my teeth I try and just set a loop in my mind of all of my positive affirmations another thing that I like to do that sets me up for success is to make sure that my breakfast is nutrient dense so that you can start your day with energy and on the right foot if I eat something that's not great for me even if I like have a coffee that's just full of sugar I feel like the rest of my day is just ruined and it's funny because for a long time going to Starbucks was like my fun little treat and I was like this is going to set me up for a great day because I'm going to Starbucks, I'm getting a fun little treat, everything's great. No, that was setting me up for a terrible day because it was like making me sick and like I wasn't getting the nutrients I needed. I had no energy other than the caffeine and that was making my anxiety really bad. So I'm learning a lot about nutrients. It's about time. I'm 25, it's about time. And I have decided that you should probably eat nutrient dense food in the morning which is not just like a me thing I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who just now figured that out but it's really important I know that it's more fun to go get a coffee or get a muffin or do something like that but it's better for you in the long run to do the other thing and you're gonna thank yourself later when you are going on like five o'clock in the afternoon and you have energy because the food you're putting in your body is good for you and not just fun don't procrastinate Get your shit done in the morning because I don't know about you, but in the fall, I like to do my activities in the afternoon and at night. If it's something like reading or painting or going to a bonfire, obviously for me, like those are night activities. So I'm trying to get all of my stuff done so that I can go enjoy that. So don't procrastinate. Put your, put your big girl pants on and you're going to get it done. You're going to be productive. You're going to get your stuff done. Whatever you put on that to-do list, get it done. Don't push it off because you want to be able to have a fun and chill night. Take your Epsom salt bath, watch your Netflix, watch all these fun fall shows. You can't do that if you put everything off. So we have a really productive morning so that we can have a fun night. Understand your cycle. In other words, cycle syncing. I don't know if you are familiar with cycle syncing. I've talked about it quite a few times. I like do it very lightly. I'm not like militant about cycle syncing but I do like to know kind of where I'm at in my cycle and I try to like work out and eat based on that as much as like I can generally. So if you aren't familiar cycle syncing is looking at where you're at in your cycle and that kind of determines how hard you want to work because sometimes in your cycle maybe you don't feel good and you don't want to work out so you're going to do something like yoga or stretching instead of doing a really hard high intensity interval training workout. Also, there are certain foods that are better for you throughout your cycle that are gonna aid your hormones. For example, when you are on that time of the month, you are 
probably losing a little bit more blood so eating things with iron are better for you so those are just like very basic examples but i try to cycle sync and base my schedule on where i'm at in my cycle so if i'm a little bit more chill i'm probably not going to schedule as much social activities and i'm going to be a little bit more in my own world but if i'm like ready to go and super excited about the world like that part of my cycle is just super energetic then i'm probably going to schedule more social things so yeah cycle syncing is a life changer it makes life so much easier i feel like your morning routine is a great way to get you to instill some habits that are going to translate well into the rest of your life for example if you practice discipline in the mornings i know that you don't want to get up early sometimes i know that you don't want to put makeup on i know that you don't want to go to the gym but if you practice discipline to do these things that discipline is going to translate in all areas of your life you're going to be more disciplined in everything that you do so that is why it's important to have a strong morning routine and just like kind of a little reminder that it's important to practice discipline and other things like confidence organization all of that comes with having a strong morning routine so just remember why you're doing it I mean, that may not be your only reason, but that's a pretty good one. Incorporate as much movement as possible. Fall is when we're kind of winding down before we get into winter. So obviously, a lot of times people get a little bit less movey, movemental. What is the word I'm looking for? People get a little bit less athletic. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. So we're just going to move on yeah they, they don't move as much so we're gonna try and stop that from happening uh, you'll see in my my routine that i try and incorporate movement quite a bit um, but taking step stretch breaks going for a walk when you can going to the gym even just like doing some jumping jacks every so often are incorporating movement and are going to be super helpful for you dress as your highest self or for your highest self a little bit of both so who do you want to be that's who you're dressing for. That's who you should show up as. That's the girly pop that you are going to be trying to dress as. I know that there's a lot of times when I'm working from home and I just want to stay in my pajamas or I want to put on sweatpants, but I make myself get dressed because my highest self is dressed. I may not have the money to go out and do all the things that like that version of myself does, but I'm still going to get dressed so that I can show up as her so that when that time does come, I'm ready and I'm rocking and I'm ready to jump in the car and go do all the fun things and you know have the income to do all of that so get dressed as the person you want to be don't forget moisturizer we're getting into the dryer season you should be doing moisturizer year round but make sure you're moisturizing your face and your body try to you know don't forget to put moisturizer on your body like after the shower and stuff but definitely moisturize your face as well if you can open your windows and take some time to sit by them i've been really dying like quite a bit because one it's been so hot that i can't open my windows as much because you know it's hot but also there's a hawk that is literally sitting outside of my office window watching my bunnies please be so serious be so serious i did not know that that was like a possibility apparently it's like more common like i did some research and it's common apparently so yeah, I can't open my window for fear that this hawk is just going to come in and make himself at home and eat my bunnies for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, whenever he decides to do it. So I haven't been able to open my windows, and I'm kind of really sad about it because I love fresh air, but that just means I have to get outside more. But yeah, definitely open your windows if you don't have a hawk plotting to eat your animals and the weather permits it just that fresh air is so good for you sitting by a window with it open reading a book that is the vibe we are here to curate don't sleep the day away make sure you're getting up early even if you don't necessarily have to consistency you're getting a consistent schedule so that your body is just going to start waking up that time every single day it's a good practice to have and you should really just like be doing it even if you don't necessarily have a reason to you get so much more done you feel much better about the day and you can do more at night because you got up earlier and got your stuff done make sure you enjoy your routine like i said earlier there were some things i mentioned where i was like maybe don't do this if you feel this way or don't do xyz if you don't feel that way make sure your routine is specific to you i'm giving you ideas i'm going to talk you through what i do but Maybe you don't have dogs or maybe you live in like a downtown area. Like maybe your life is a little bit different than mine. So do what works best for you. Take my ideas and run with them and make them your own because everybody's different. And maybe you hate fall so you don't 
really, I don't know, participate in it as much as most people. You can still romanticize it, but maybe you aren't going to do some of the things that I do that really just get me in the fall spirit. So that's fine. That's totally fine. But make sure that you love your morning routine because you're not going to want to get up and do it every day if you don't like it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump on into what I do on an ideal morning. So the first thing I do after everything is done the night before, so I get to wake up in this nice clean space where everything's laid out for me, I get out of bed as soon as my alarm goes off. As soon as your alarm goes off, besties, do not set it for snooze. Do not have 15 alarms. The first one that goes off, jump out of bed. And then you're going to make your bed immediately. Just make your bed so you can't get back in it. My dogs are a little, little upset about this one, but that's what you got to do. While you're making your bed, you're going to say three things that you're thankful for. Say it out loud. Say it in your head. Stop and write it down if you really want to. I have a gratitude journal, and I, I do that from time to time. But say three things you're thankful for. This is going to set your day off on a thankful, grateful plane. You're, you're setting it up. Setting it up for positivity and good vibes. Then I walk over to my bathroom, my dogs usually follow me, and I clean my face, brush my teeth, you know, all the morning things. If I have a face mask on, take that off. That's when I do that. I probably don't do, I don't do my hair yet. So I'm just like getting a clean slate. We're not adding, we're just cleaning to make sure we have a, a good slate to start on. Because you're going to do that. And then you're going to take your dogs outside if you have dogs. I usually take them in the backyard because if you wash your face, I don't know about you, but when I wash my face, the first thing I want to do is like not put makeup on it. If I put moisturizer on it, cool. If I do that kind of stuff, yeah, that's fine. And I do do that, but I don't want to do that and then immediately throw makeup on. So usually I'll brush my teeth, wash my face, give that a minute to like set and I take the dogs outside so that they can go to the bathroom. While the dogs are outside, I'm kind of watching them because I'm a helicopter mom. I drink some water. I get my first couple sips of water in. I try to drink like a bottle of water while I'm doing my morning routine and then try to keep that up throughout the day and obviously drink more. So dogs come inside and then we all come into my office and wake up my bunnies because they need woken up. They are on a very strict schedule. That is like what we do. So dogs, bunnies, and water is like my little intermission between getting ready and like getting ready. So next I do my makeup and my hair and then my clothes. So if I'm doing like anything hot, quote unquote, like I'm putting a hot curler on to touch up messy curls or anything like that, I do that first. Um, if it's not anything hot and it's just like natural hair, then I do makeup first. So I do my makeup, my hair, and then I pick out my outfit last. There's the age old question of do you put on your clothes before or after you do your makeup? I would love to know. Definitely let me know if you're able to comment. But for me, I put on my makeup first and then I put on my clothes and then I just like suck it up and really try my best not to get it on my shirt because I would make a heck of a mess if I had my clothes on first like I would just get stuff everywhere and there are people that wear robes and are really smart because they like put their robes on over their clothes but I get too hot for that I'm like hot blooded so I can't do that I, I just run really hot next I try to take my dogs for a walk to mentally prepare for the day if Josh is here, I will just take Evie because Evie's my girl and then Luna is his and that way Evie and I get some alone time because Evie is a girl's girl at the end of the day and she would love to get a break from her brother from time to time because he's a big old scary boy and she's just like not, doesn't have time for his drama. So speaking of the devil, <laughs> so Evie and I will go for a walk. I love taking your dog for a walk in the fall because there's the leaves and the rain and like going for a rainy walk, she has a rain jacket and it just makes such a vibe. So we'll just do that. And that sets me up mentally. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do today. I'm kind of taking in the scene and being like, I'm so grateful that I am in a place where I'm able to have a dog and walk my dog and see this beautiful like scenery. Like I'm just trying to really mentally set myself up for the day and then also getting to spend some time with my Evie girl. So take an Evie for a walk. I also take them outside before I take her for a walk because if she goes to the bathroom in the backyard, it's better than having to pick it up in someone's front yard. So that is 
why I do that and it also kind of gives them a little bit less energy so that Evie's not bouncing off the walls when I take her outside. So after that, I make my breakfast or tea and if I really want to set the vibes up, I start a simmer pot, which I posted a simmer pot video on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Nope, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And it was just like a short one, so it'll be like on a short or a reel. Did I post it on Instagram? Honestly, I can't remember if I posted it on Instagram, but I definitely posted it on TikTok and YouTube. And it was like a short. So if you want to look at that, that is my go-to fall simmer pot recipe. But it is very, um, it sets the vibes. And it's a lot better for you. It's a lot more natural. You're not putting the toxins in the air for you or your pets. So if I'm going to be like setting the vibes, I usually sit on my couch while I eat and I get the simmer pot going because once I'm done eating, I'm immediately going to write my to-do list and finalize my plan for the day and then also fill out my planner. So these are my like things that I do when I'm writing that down. So I write down my daily to-do list. Then I also write down my priorities. So like what my priorities are for the day, the top three like to-do list things. And then what I need. So if I need to run any errands, if I need to go to the grocery store, what am I going to do? And then also, what am I going to eat? So what are my meals? Are we going to be eating all three at home? Are we going to go for a little, you know, dinner out? What are we going to do? And so I try and figure all that out. Sometimes I have to call Josh and figure out what his schedule is, obviously, before I do like meals or kind of plan my day. But for the most part, I have a good idea of what he's doing that day. So that way I can kind of plan my to-do list and what I'm planning unless he calls me and he's like, hey, guess what? We're going on a little road trip, which happens like once a week. So yeah, as much as possible, I try and plan and just have the simmer pot going and it just sets the best vibes. If I go to the gym, I'm not going to do my makeup, obviously. I don't wear makeup every day. I'm just now getting to the point where I start wearing makeup again. I used to wear it every day in like high school, but I stopped and now I'm back. So, hey girl, hey. I'm really trying to start wearing it more for you guys because I want to look more put together. So, if you noticed, thanks for noticing. But, I don't wear makeup when I go to the gym. Duh, obviously. So, I try to go to the gym in the mornings. I'm a morning girl. So, if I go to the gym, which I try to, like, four or five days a week. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna listen to a book or a podcast while I go. Sometimes I listen to music, but I've really been on a book or podcast kick and I feel like it sets you up for the day if you're listening to like a, a self-help podcast or a vibey podcast. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I've been trying to get through books. I have the longest TBR for the month of October because I have so many spooky books I wanna read, but I need to finish the series I'm reading and I'm really stressed about it. So I've been reading a lot or listening to audiobooks. So I'll do that at the gym. And then if I go to the gym, when I come home, I take a quick shower. I don't like wash my hair usually, um, but I do like do a quick shower and then get dress dressed. So that's when I like get dressed for the day. I put on like the cute outfit. I, If I'm gonna wear makeup, put on a little bit of makeup and then I start work for the day. So that is, my morning routine in an ideal world what i strive towards every single day so i'm working on tweaking it i do try and add like stretch breaks in there like i said i try and drink water things like that but that is like the vibes to have the it girl level up morning routine and that is all the things i found from my research and my own experience and hopefully i gave you some new ideas i gave you some ways to incorporate new fun things into what you're already doing but if you have any other things that you think of, like if there's something I missed, definitely comment if you're able to. I know you can on Spotify and YouTube, so I'm looking at you girlies, but definitely let me know what that is. Let me know what your favorite part of your morning routine is. I think my favorite part is probably the simmer pot part where I'm just chilling with my dogs, like writing stuff down, or the gym. I really do love the, men like the mental state I go into when I like, after I work out and the endorphins are pumping. So probably one of those two, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Don't forget to comment Gal with Goals if you are joining us on the road to 1K YouTube subscribers. We would love to have you. We are girlies who are working to meet our goals together and it's a great community and I would just love for you to join. So that's pretty much it. I love you so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and follow or subscribe and I will see you guys in my next episode. Bye. Love you.